morning people I hope you're all doing well um, this is just gonna be a quick video because there's not a lot to say about it really I'm talking about obviously last night's fight between Lawrence Okoli and Lucas Rosansky for the WBC Bridgerweight title thankfully it was over in a round um, Lawrence Okoli's picked up his second world title I'm a bit torn about the whole Bridgerweight thing um, uh, when, it, when it was announced that the WBC was starting this new division between heavyweight and cruiserweight, I was kind of like, well, do we need another one, you know? And personally, I don't think we do, but, yeah, whatever, it is, it is what it is. <clears throat> I, last year, I swore off watching any other um, future Lawrence Cody fights because I can't bear watching him, he's terrible. Yeah, that, between all the, the hugging and the, the grabbing every time anybody gets close to him and, the, and the, the, the frightened deer in the middle of the road look in his eyes all the time every time anybody throws anything at him I just I can't watch this guy you know you know, don't worry he's, he's a talented young man well I say young man he's not that young anymore he's younger than me you know Olympic bronze medalist you know WBO cruiserweight champion I mean that performance against Glavachki when he won the title was fantastic, you know. He, he put on the best performance of his career and knocked um, Glavachki out. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But then after that, it was just awful. I mean, he fought that Polish guy, was it Seslak? That was a terrible, boring fight. His fight with Matty Askin was awful. Uh, David Light, and then last year's fight when he lost the title to Chris Billum Smith. I mean, that was the biggest load of shit I've ever sat through. And I felt sorry for anybody who'd bought tickets to go and watch that, because between all the, the holding and the fouling and the grabbing on for dear life, it was just fucking terrible. And I said then, I'll never watch an Akoli fight ever again. And I nearly didn't watch it last night. <clears throat> well, for our fuck it, there's nothing else to nothing else to, on at the moment, so I just shoved it on. And thankfully, it was over in the first round. Lawrence Akoli dominated Rosansky. I mean, Rosansky's pretty one-dimensional. <laughs> You know, he was undefeated, don't get me wrong, and his best win was over Alan Babich. But, yeah, Alan Babich is very crude, very exciting. Don't get me wrong, I'm not slagging these guys off. They're very, very exciting to watch. But they're not exactly the most skilled. And, you know, if you didn't know who Rosansky was, you'd look and think he was a, a, a truck driver or something, you know. you know. What's this truck driver doing in the ring calling himself a world champion, you know? Um... I commend Akoli for going to Rosansky's backyard in uh, in Poland to win the title because it's not difficult. It, sorry, it is difficult um, winning world titles on the road. You know, I admire any fighter that goes into enemy territory. I mean, we don't have so many road warriors now. We, we've got um, Usyk. I mean, he's won all his big fights abroad or or in the opponent's backyard. You go back years ago with the likes of Azuma Nelson. He was always fighting guys in their ho in hostile territory in their home countries and things like that. So no, I, I admire any any fighter. It doesn't matter where they're from if they go into an enemy territory and win. It's absolutely brilliant. So yeah, it, thankfully it was over quickly because it would it would have turned into a hug fest. We all know it would have done. I mean, there, I mean, within seconds of the fight starting, they they were both clinging on for dear life, you know, straight away. And I thought, uh oh, we're in for another one, lads. But no, it was, thankfully it was over. Um, Rosiansky was woefully overmatched. Good performance from Akoli. We'll see what happens from here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this whole Bridgerweight thing, I don't know, man. I don't know what to think about it. You know, do we need any more world titles? I don't think so. But it, it's a world title. It's a WBC belt he's picked up. So, so fair play to him. And that's about it, really. A, mercifully, there's not a lot to say about the fight. So, if you watched it, what did you think? What do you think about the Bridgerweight division? You know, is it is it a good thing? Is it something to watch? Is it anything to give a shit about? Do you think it's a legitimate division? Let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, I enjoy talking to you all. I'm, I'm pleased, so pleased with the fact that anybody wants to listen to me fucking ramble on all fucking day about boxing. And you will take care, and I'll be doing a review of the Josh Taylor-Jack Catterall fight tonight. I'll probably do it tomorrow morning, though. So you take care, folks, and I'll speak to you soon.